Omid Scobie's efforts to wow readers with his revelations seem to have failed as he has received rather mediocre reviews from those among the first to read it. Scobie has been labeled a sympathizer of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with past links claiming he was their pal and unofficial mouthpiece which are allegations that the Sussexes and Scobie have both reportedly been trying to distance themselves from. SCO's words haven't been totally well received, even by the usual Sussex sympathizer New York Times, which described the chapter of Endgame as a press release cooked up by ChatGPT. In its less than favorable critique, the publication's writer A. A. W. Koff suggested that the work wasn't much different than Prince Harry's tour memoir, wherein the Duke hit out at the royals over a number of issues, including their behavior towards his wife Meghan Markle. Walkoff further warned that fans will be left disappointed if they'd been expecting to read anything that they hadn't already heard. Brutally penning, however, readers hoping for a final death blow of gossip will be disappointed. We've heard a lot of it before from Fergie, from Diana, from Charles, from Harry, and from Harry and from Harry again. Describing how a book of the book is specifically devoted to setting the record straight regarding the Sussexes fallout with the firm, Walt Trover admitted that other members of the family certainly didn't receive the same endearing tone as Harry and Meghan. She added that despite his best efforts to seemingly paint them in a positive light, he does them no favors. Ladyk reports Marcus Anderson is the source for the contents of Endgame. Meghan spills her guts out to Marcus, and then he fills Scobie in with the details. Anderson has been there from the start. Scobie and Anderson's connection has been known for a very long time, many suspected this was how information was passed on from the beginning. It was always very obvious that SCO's information was coming directly from Meghan. Meanwhile, royal commentator Jenny Bond debunked SCO's claim that sources close to both Buckingham Palace and Prince William and Princess Kate have given him information and accounts as part of the book. Bond told GB News, I struggle to believe that honestly close friends, as he says, of Kate and William or sources at Buckingham Palace are openly or even discreetly speaking to Omid Scobie for his book. I just don't think that would happen. I'm struggling to find any new facts, there's plenty of opinion, there's plenty of dirt and allegations. Being described, and I concur with these adjectives, poisonous, venomous. I think it's just plain nasty and snide. So many claims being thrown around which I don't think that Omid Scobie has backed up, you know he is entitled to his opinion, he's a journalist. A Dutch translation of Omed SCO's book released around the world on Tuesday names King Charles, who allegedly made shocking racist comments about Archie. Scobie said in interviews this week that UK law prevented him from revealing the names of the royals detailed in private letters from Meghan to King Charles. Page taken from a review copy of the book sent to Dutch journalists appeared to contain the identity of the royal who allegedly made the remark referring to the letters written between Meghan and the king discussing the issue. The Dutch version of the book reads, but in those private letters, an identity was revealed and confirmed. This extra paragraph was added on purpose just so that Charles could be linked to the story. Chris Ship from ITV said, I'm puzzled by how a translation of Omed SCO's book into Dutch can accidentally name the royal racist if the name wasn't in the original English version. Also, remember, Harry told ITV he never claimed that anyone was racist.